Hello everyone, it's Katja here and today we're going trendy with modern boho. We're going to make something that looks great but is simple to do even if you're just a beginner. So if you are into summer vibes and boho madness, enjoy the video! I started this project by cleaning the piece with TSP cleaner off the camera. This part will get removed, painted and then put back on. My idea for these drawers is to let their natural wood grain show. Because why not? Natural wood is so trendy now, it had its moment, so let's embrace it and enjoy it. So I brought out the surf prep and started sanding. Melange paint suggests you scuff sand your pieces before painting, so that's what I did. Melange is a new paint company we're trying here for the first time. I'm using this beautiful yellow called Bohemian Gold along with my zebra brush. This color is so nice, it reminds me of my favorite color from Waverly that they discontinued. loving the paint so far and I'm definitely going to use some more. Here is a trick if you don't already know. Leave your brushes inside a Ziploc bag in between coats so they won't dry out. For me, it took me about an hour for each coat to dry. I did need 5 coats for solid coverage, but that is actually normal when it comes to yellow colors. They're just hard to cover. Light yellows are always like this and Beverly used to take 4 coats for full coverage. So it's just normal, don't be scared by it. Now that we have our solid coverage and this beautiful color down, we can move to the transfer. And I'm using a redesign with Prima Folk Transfer. It's a beautiful bohemian transfer and you can put it on anything. Using these image transfers is super easy. Cut out the parts you want, you stick them and place and press down on the image to pass it over. This transfer tool is good if you're going to be doing bigger jobs, but the package also comes with a stick that will get the job done. Peel the top off slowly so you can transfer anything you miss. With this part, I like to take my time and enjoy the process because applying a transfer on your piece of furniture is actually very fun. Something I didn't realize and I had to go back and fix later. As you can see, the full design is not on this sheet. They don't match. It's not a big deal, I just have to send it. So 
So check everything before you start sticking it to your furniture. Otherwise, you're gonna end up like me, working hard, extra hard. We don't need to work extra hard. Besides that little mistake, everything went easy and fast. Lou got involved and ended up with some paint on him. What a little junk he is. That's my little junk. You can cut these out and play around with them however you want. You can do this to the bare wood, to the stained wood, to painted wood, you can do this to anything. You can transfer this even to a fabric. Okay, before we put these drawers back on, let's make this wood grain pop. I'm using Danish oil for this. I love Danish oil and I couldn't wait for opportunity to use it. I was a little nervous about how Danish oil is going to react to the transfer, but it did amazing and I was so happy I learned something new that I can use Danish oil over transfers. Before we put the drawers back on, we have to protect the paint. This product is pretty amazing, wax varnish finish. Why do I like it? Well, there is a few reasons. This goes on like a varnish, it's going to give you lots of protection. It spreads super easy and smooth and it self levels itself. And it doesn't smell bad, so yes, I was impressed. And then it was time to put the drawers back on and see the finished piece. And yes, modern boho made simple. I love this so much that I probably want to do bohemian look more in the future. It was such a fun and easy project to do. Probably one of the easiest projects I did in 2021. And I needed something easy and light. So I'm so happy how it came out. Beautiful color, beautiful transfer, beautiful grain wood. Everything is just so beautiful and so trendy. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys.